Welcome to Casablanca. Now, even though a movie is named after this town, not a lot of tourists tend to go here. It's pretty industrial, but there are still some beautiful places to see. I hope you notice all the white buildings. That's where it gets its name, Casablanca. One of the first places we visited was the Square of Muhammad V, and it's famous for, that's right, pigeons. The Palace of the Pasha is still an operating government building, so tourists aren't allowed inside, but it's still worth checking out the beautiful Moroccan architecture. Another interesting spot to check out is the Notre Dame de Lourdes. It's a beautiful Catholic church that is nearly all stained glass on the inside, and it is breathtaking. It's really fun to check out the beautiful views of the Atlantic Ocean. And you can also get, yes, you guessed it, seafood. The Hassan II Mosque is the jewel of Casablanca. It allows non-Muslims to enter, so we took the opportunity to peek inside and it was astounding. These are the rooms dedicated to the ceremonial washing before worshipers enter the mosque for prayer. This is the third largest mosque in the world and it was built with donations from citizens all around Morocco. It can hold 25,000 people inside and 80,000 in the courtyard. So during Ramadan, this place is packed. The movie Casablanca was actually filmed on a soundstage in Hollywood but they have a replica here that is amazing. Reservations are a must, and the only reason we got to go was because our good friend Debbie got us in, and we had so much fun. You were basically stepping back in time. Do not miss going to Rick's. We hope you enjoyed our little tour of Casablanca. Don't forget to like and subscribe.